Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Zeus the Moose, of course, and I am back with a pretty awesome video, guys. This is not a how to wall bounce advanced tutorial, but this is me showing you guys how I play claw, guys. As you can tell from the screen, I did get a hand cam set up. Now, I want you all to understand, my buddy recorded me do this. I will be getting a tripod with my camera in the next week, so I will be able to do this myself. So this is the only reason why I didn't do a full-blown tutorial is because it would have been very hard to synchronize everything. So this is just me showing you what you can do and be capable of claw and basically just how I wall bounce the way I do because I know a lot of people are interested in that. So within the next week, I promise you guys, we will have an advanced tutorial with the hand cam. I'll even have some tips and tricks coming. But mainly I want to show you guys how to claw wall bounce or how it looks claw wall bouncing. And right here I want to show you the PC wall bounce. I know a lot of people are curious about um, if the PC wall bounce is faster. Well, just to get this out the way, the sensitivity is faster, but there's still a pull or there's still a cooldown system. So the overall wall bounce is not faster, but it definitely looks faster. Now I just went ahead and put together a bunch of wall bounce clips that um I hit, you know, just some outplays and stuff just to show you guys what you can do while playing claw. Now please guys leave feedback in the uh in the comment section cuz it really helps me to let me know what you guys want to know more of. I will be doing all types of advanced tutorials, tips and tricks in wall bounce, but I want to get this out the way first to show people that I play claw so they can know how I'm doing what I'm doing cuz I do I do think some people thought I was doing this with thumbs and that is really really hard but um, mainly I just want to showcase claw I understand that the, the tournament uh, controller settings and elite controllers now exist but I've always been a straight uh, controller player and I'll continue to be so I'll continue to play claw I do think those methods could definitely help out players who don't want to play claw and definitely could substitute the buttons or whatever the system using the system is to become a bouncer like this so I definitely think it's possible I'll just always be playing claw so I hope you all enjoyed seeing how I actually wall bounce. Now I'm going to get to making a ham cam ASAP, but it really helps me out, guys, if you just let me know and leave feedback. As you can see right there, yo, check this out real quick. Come on, Zeus reacts for a second. This is actually a really cool wall bounce outplay, I thought. You know, I'm just wall bouncing everywhere, just making my way around the map. I don't even know where somebody is. Blah! Yes, I do! <laughs> Alright guys, now, now before I end this, I'm just going to show you a couple more things. I do got a little treat for you guys because what kind of guy am I to show you guys how I bounce without giving you, you know, some tips and tricks. You know what I mean? Come on. That's, you can't do that, right? So right here, I just want to show you guys. It's just about momentum and just building the bounce. As you can tell, I've noticed a thing with the bounce. I know it's hard to like verbally uh, communicate and explain to you guys how to wall bounce. But one very important tip to wall bouncing in this game is angular. Try to use the side of your body more than going forward the more you press forward the more the cooldown system actually starts hitting you so therefore if you can go forward then back and you need to actually be able to look all the way at the wall of course when I get a hand cam it will be a lot easier to explain but not only do we have what I just showed you right here I have something really cool guys you can wall bounce backwards yo I thought this looked so cool guys I'm completely wall bouncing backwards so basically what I'm trying to get at is angle in your character is very very important in, in wall bouncing in this game it's similar to angle bouncing but it's not the same but the more you can get used to angle in your character and timing you'll get to bouncing backwards and forward like right there <laughs> But I got one more thing for you guys, which is just another one of me wall bouncing backwards and forward. But I just want to stress how important it is to have the angle of your character looking at the wall. If you're holding down on your left stick and moving your right stick just left to right, you will not be able to bounce fast. That is why I made this video before the advanced tips, because I want people to understand you either have to play claw, tournament, or some form of being able to wall bounce and move both sticks at the same time. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoy this video. I know it wasn't as advanced as you guys like, but this hand cam stuff does take time. So I just want to let you guys know I am doing it because the Olympus fam and the support is incredible. So thank you all so much. We should be by 10K before the end of the month. So let's get it. Much love, homies. Peace out.